Great job on the video, Gigi. Thank you. We are pleased to present the MCCC 2011 Visionary Award to Dr. Stuart Edelstein. Stu, please join me on stage. <laughs> Who was that person? <laughs> Thank you so much. What an honor it is to receive this award, especially from the chamber. I have an incredible amount of respect for what this chamber does every day to promote commerce and the well-being of our county. And it is absolutely filled with visionary leaders. To Sterling, Carrie, Gigi, and the amazing team at the Chamber, thank you for your superb leadership and for your friendship. To Human Genome Sciences, a world-changing visionary company, thank you for sponsoring this award. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored and humbled to call so many of you in this room colleagues and friends. As proud as I am to stand before you here as the 2011 recipient of the Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce Visionary Award, I want you to know that this is an award that I don't so much accept for myself, but for an entire community, a community that so strongly recognizes the importance of education and inclusiveness. If I have been successful in laying out a vision for the universities at Shady Grove, it is because I am building on the hard work of others, including many of you here tonight. Any successful vision I have had for USG is quite simply the result of listening, listening to what the community, this community values, what it wants to be, and what kind of educational opportunities will build a strong economy and a healthy, engaging quality of life for all who work and live here. Believe me, listening to what you value and what you are looking for from our university graduates has shaped the vision for USG above all else. Listening to people like Susan Bateson. Susan, I am so proud to have you, a true friend and true professional on the USG Board of Advisors as my award presenter. Thank you so much. USG is really an exceptional place, one that has benefited from so many special partnerships. For example, the partnerships we have with all of you, the leaders of the business community. The number of businesses, educational partners, individual USG supporters and friends that I really would like to thank is far too extensive. But I would be remiss if I did not make mention of a few. First, the USG mothership, the University System of Maryland, led by our Chancellor, William Britt Kerwin. Britt could unfortunately not be here tonight, but I must say to you and offer him my thanks for giving me the privilege, the privilege to grow the USG. The USG Board of Re USM Board of Regents under the leadership of Chairman Clifford Kendall. As most of you know, there are simply no greater champions for USG than our dear friends, Cliff and Camille Kendall. Next, the outstanding USG Board of Advisors. I cannot thank them enough for their support, counsel, and hard work. Many of them are also here tonight 
led by our dedicated chairman, Michael Pretty of Intervice. And I'd like the board members that are here tonight to please stand so you may recognize them. All the board members. They represent the leaders of our business, government, and educational communities. I also want to thank our elected officials, in particular our state and county leaders, whose investment in higher education and in USG is helping to ensure a better future for Maryland and for our students. Also, our partner universities. You saw the names of these respected universities in the video. Without these nine public universities, USG is just a collection of buildings. With them, we become that unique place that allows thousands of students to pr pursue any of 70 distinctive undergraduate, graduate, and professional degrees, as you heard, all on one energized, shared, green campus. I also want to recognize our other educational partners here in Montgomery County, without whom USG could not exist. Our award-winning public school system and our extraordinary Montgomery College. Together, we are building a seamless system of education, a system which fuels our workforce and strengthens our community. Finally, there is no way I could be accepting this award today without the hard work of the student-centered senior staff at USG. They do the heavy lifting and are the reasons for our growth and success. And I would definitely not be here without the support of my family, which is represented here tonight by my brother and sister. My dad was a teacher, and my sister is a teacher. Maybe it's genetic. What do you think, Susan? <laughs> In closing, I remind us today that today's celebration is about talent, nurturing homegrown talent. I'd like to recognize some highly gifted people in the audience who make our vision for USG a reality. They are the students and recent graduates of our universities at USG. They are our next generation of business leaders, entrepreneurs, social service and healthcare professionals, educators, technology specialists, builders, and government and community leaders. I would like to ask them to stand so that you could recognize them and let them know how important they are to our future. Can the students in the room please stand? <laughs> With the help of these educated professionals, our future is in good hands. The universities at Shady Grove's story is just beginning. There is much more to come. Stay tuned and thank you again for this very great honor. Thank you. <laughs>